In my last video, I said that the seasonal fluctuations in your data have to be constant if you want to use that data in the classical time series regression context. Now, while there's always some degree of fluctuation from season to season, there must not be any particular pattern of seasonal fluctuations. For example, increasing seasonal fluctuation over time or decreasing uh, seasonal fluctuation over time. Now, you might ask, but what do I do if my seasonal fluctuation is not constant over time? Well, a very easy way is to take the log of your variable by using the function log. So, for example, let's say you are interested in the number of monthly passengers of an Australian airline from 1949 to 1960. And by the way, this is real data. So, for that purpose, I've already prepared some data, and uh, the data is inside our variable called airpass.ts. Okay, so so let's plot the variables. So let's put in plot. Oh, let's put in plot. Open the parentheses. Airpass.ts. So let's plot that variable. Okay, so this is our data. So have a look at that data. So you can see that there's increasing variance. So there's increasing seasonal fluctuation over time in our data. Now let's see how we fare by taking the log. So let's plot our data again, but this time we take the log of our data. Okay, so error pass ts. Well, let's hit enter and take a look what happens. Wow, this is much better. Our variance is now constant over time. So there's a there's constant seasonal fluctuation in our data. But wait, you might say, we have altered our data. How could we get any meaningful results by taking the log? Because, you know, take a look at the scale. This has changed completely. Take a look at this scale and take a look at this scale. And our variance has changed. So you might say, well, do we get any meaningful results? Well, we could easily back transform our data by taking the exponential function. So let me do that for you. So plot exp, the function for taking the exponential function, of the log of our error pass ts data. So we're taking the exponential function and we're putting in the log of the error passenger data. Take a look at what happens. So it's the same data. So we back transformed the data. So you can see that this is the exact same plot as before. We can even use the logs in our regression equation and be able to extract meaningful results. But more of that in a later video.